Today we're back at it on our sawmill project. We're going to apply some stain to the interior of our building and the post and beam construction as well as install lighting. That's coming up. So I thought it'd be a good idea to get some color to the interior of our sawmill project while it's still reasonably accessible. I'm gonna use some golden oak stain because I think it's really gonna match the era that I'm modeling here on the Silverado and Rio Grande. So after I completed all of the staining of the post and beam construction and interior, I let that set up. And then once it was all dried, I hit it with a coat of clear satin to seal everything up. So remember the interior and exterior of this structure will be visible with only two sides being partially sided. Here's the lighting that we're going to use on our sawmill project. These are HO scale lamps. We are going to modify these. We're going to lose the base and the post. We're just going to use the lamps. They're LEDs. They're going to work perfect for this project. After we get the lighting installed, I'm really hoping that it will resemble the kerosene uh, lanterns that were used during the time period that I'm modeling. So here we're just unpackaging our lamps and we're losing the bases and posts and getting them prepped for installation. On the back of the lighting packages, there's a wiring diagram. We just followed the series circuit diagram as shown at the top half. We had no issues installing these lights. So next we laid out the locations for our lighting and then we used an eighth inch drill bit to drill holes to where we could conceal the wiring running it up into the loft where we will locate the battery boxes. And here you go. We got all six of our LED lights installed. They give a real nice glow that would be reminiscent of an old school kerosene lamp. We got two battery boxes up in the loft. That's going to wrap this one up. Don't forget to hit that like button. And if you'd like to follow along with our sawmill build, subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and happy railroading.